Hello everybody and welcome to the Smart Stadium experience. Today we're going to talk about real-time multidimensional data analysis and we're going to see how SAP solution really help managing the stadium from the beginning of the experience before the match until the end when the fan leaves. You're going to ask me why a Smart Stadium experience? Well, there's a few key reasons why you would want to optimize all the operation and make sure that the fans are having the best experience ever. Uh, but in that case, what we're looking at is actually the Allianz Stadium, so one of our real customers. We had specific, I would say, challenges that they needed to address. First one, the fan. They wanted to make sure every time the fan came into, their, uh, into the stadium, they would know who they were segment of one, understanding not only the one time they buy the B or the Coca-Cola, but really all the time the fan will come to the stadium. Second, think about the retail opportunity. And I'm not only talking about the hot dog that you buy where you have to queue for 15 minutes at the break. I'm also talking about the opportunity to resell shirts that fan will like. So we'll talk about that in a moment. And third, last but not least, Think of a stadium like any type of companies. There's a lot of resources to optimize. There's a lot of different, I would say, assets to manage. Uh, and this is what we will see here today. So those three key points is the reason why SAP today can help deliver the greatest experience to the fan. So let's have a look in a bit more detail. And I'm gonna be in the shoes of the, of the stadium manager. So I want you to think, as a stadium manager, uh, I am now a few hours uh, before, before the game, right? So uh, actually a few days and a few things that you want to do right so let's uh, let's have a look and play at the at the video a few things that you will want to to check by connecting all of the different equipments in your uh, in your stadium you could be made aware before the asset break of a few important maintenance to do in that case for example i receive a warning right about a specific uh, display failure so I will have a look at this in more detail. Let's click into the display failure together. And here, the device is telling me that for this display advertising, there is actually an operating temperature range and an operating humidity range. And what we can see is that the sensor itself is providing data that apparently is getting a bit too high. And if you combine that information with the machine learning algorithm into the stadium, uh, into the stadium um, software, you will see that in the past it means that there's a leakage probably with water. So although the display is still working, there is a highest probability of change that is a leakage somewhere in the water. So what I want to do is schedule the maintenance and send this to the proper field technician to go and have a look at it. All right, let's now move forward in time a little bit and we are just a few hours before uh, the game starts. So what you're seeing here is actually a map of where the Allianz Stadium is. And the idea here is to connect already with the fan before they even arrive to the stadium. Uh, in Munich, what you will realize is a lot of the time there's traffic jam, congestion, and the parking place that they have is not sufficient for all the fans to actually come and enjoy the game. So what we can do here again is connect the stadium to external data sources like S3, Google Maps, and so on, to analyze live if there's gonna be any traffic jam and to inform uh, directly the fan on the go. So here, I can get more information. Uh, on this traffic management, uh, um, I will say dashboard, what I can do is take the decision to send a bus, a coach bus, for example. So that information, once I agreed how many bus I'm gonna release, which fan are actually gonna receive that information, I can automatically traffic balance, as you can see here, all the different bus, uh, all the different uh, coach, and send that information straight to the fan. Once that uh, is done, imagine now I'm going to step out of the stadium manager, but I'm going to enter as a fan myself. When that information is sent out, because I've downloaded the app, right? So the, the fan experience allow me to do so. I would receive a pop-up that says, hey, go and park your car at this parking because um, you know, we can come and pick you up. So as soon as I will open uh, actually my, uh, my application, I will see that uh, information coming up and all of the different traffic guides that the stadium manager will send to you, okay? So keep that in mind, because it's really about mobility to deliver the fan experience. Let's continue our journey. And we'll come back to the mobile in a little, in a little while. We are just hours before the game begins. 
Uh, and right now what you can see is uh, all the different cameras that will look at the movement, group movement. The idea of that is to combine it with different type of data again from the, from the assets to understand if something breaks down, if there's a reason why more people will go in a specific place. As well, you can imagine about uh, you know, groupment of people after the game or before the game to avoid any type of issues, but also COVID-related uh, type of uh, information where you don't want people to gather uh, into uh, too many uh, clusters. In that case, um, I've combined that information uh, with my asset and I can see that the turnstile is actually failing. So what I want to do is to make sure that I can connect this to my rostering, which of my staff is actually present on the stadium and send them the information to fix it before it becomes too big of a problem. All right, so now staff is important. Let's continue our journey. We are now in the game. The game is happening uh, and what you're seeing here uh, on top is actually some live data around all of the food court order that are being made uh, and the sentiment that the fans are sharing on the social media. And again, you get that by creating a gamification and connection with your fan directly on the app. So what I will be uh, um, showing you now on the application, you can see the, mat the match schedule, for example, with all the different players but you can connect your Twitter and Facebook account. So all of the different comments we'll be doing there will be then analyzed and sent through a sentiment analysis so that that information, again, is used to analyze heat map information into the stadium and share this across the stadium manager to, for example, create some pop-up stores. So if they see that one player in particular is being called out in an area of the stadium, they can create those uh, specific offering. And again, the idea is to help the retail opportunity. So instead of waiting the 15 minutes uh, normally that you have to do for a game to go and queue and ask for your Coca-Cola and hot dog, here what you can do in this application too is that I can directly uh, decide to uh, shop via the application. I'm going to add some popcorn for example, burger uh, and a Coca-Cola. Okay. And once I go and look at my order, I can decide to pay on the delivery or pay now. The beauty of it, and we will see, uh, we will, um, we will uh, show you in the, in the seat in a bit later on, is the seat is connected to your app and physically to the seat. So they will know, if I'm clicking here, they will know exactly where you're, where you're sitting and a group of staff member can come and deliver directly uh, you know, all of the different food menu to you. So again, optimizing the retail from the food and beverage perspective, but also from uh, you know from the shop itself. Okay. Now we've seen you know what happened before the game, how you optimize the asset, how you optimize the fan uh, as well during the game. But it's also very important to look at what's happening just after the game. In the case of Alliance, another challenge that they were facing is really about uh, crowd management. They only had like one major exit, uh, and most of the time, what will happen is a lot of people will be stuck. So all the data you gain from the mobile experience, all the data you've gained as well uh, during, the, during the game as to who's ordering what, you can reuse that uh, into the application to create, uh, I will say, uh, a traffic um, a departure optimization solution. So you can see here the notification. I am realizing as a stadium manager, there's a lot of people trying to leave at the same time, and it's probably going to create a delay into the exit from the parking. So all I have to do is click on the traffic delay here, Okay, and then the leave optimization will create a recommendation based on the top fan. Uh, so the people who normally order the most beer, for example, or the people who have commented the most on their top player, I will get that information straight in into that application and I can decide to send after game fan invites or I can decide to get coupon uh, to have a 20% off the next uh, the, the hot dog so that people are not leaving immediately but staying a little bit longer. So I'm gonna send that to them and they will receive it directly on their phone. All right, so now that you've seen all of that, I will say, uh, day in the lifestyle of a stadium manager, uh, another thing that I would like to show you, uh, and for this, I'd like to call out uh, Nishen, our experienced curator in the stadium as well, is how do we combine the information about sentiment analysis, not only from a mobile phone, not only from sensors, but from video analytics, uh, leveraging machine learning algorithms. So what we're gonna see here is actually us uh, sitting down on the stadium now, right? And if we have big laugh, 
on the game if we are surprised or if we are not really happy. Yes, what we can see is that our face is being picked up and all of that data will be analyzed in terms of expression, head pose, to see if the people are actually happy, surprised, annoyed, angry, uh, and then you can use that feedback on the sentiment directly to optimize your operation. Right, so Ishan, if you are, just do a, a surprise face for me. <laughs> right, so it's really about, um, you know, bringing the technology to leverage all the data you need to deliver a better fan experience, to make sure you optimize uh, the resources internally, your people, your assets, uh, and last but not least, that all the retail uh, is as well optimized uh, as, you, uh, as you manage your operation. So that's it for us on the Smart Stadium experience. We hope you liked it, and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.